Hi, Rex Busterfield here. This is a demo of my Qualcomm Greco. This is not in any way a conventional digital echo machine. It makes use of eight asynchronous read-write circular buffers with a collision blanking. And for convenience, I've termed those grains because it's a lot quicker to say. Uh, though strictly speaking, they're not grains in the conventional sense. One of the features of the system is that you won't always get the same repeat pattern sounding on the longer grain times. So I'll run quickly through the controls. If you click on the Greco uh, uh, name there, you'll get a, a help file which shows you what the various controls do in a little bit more detail. This is where you select the input type. So you can process stereo in stereo, stereo with crossed over grains, or mono, which will take a mono incoming signal and process it in stereo. The grains knob sets the length of the grains in the buffer. The offset knob controls the read speed, uh, and this can be varied uh, across a range for the eight grains. So some will read a little bit faster and some will read a little bit slower. This can give a, a sort of pitch modulation effect and uh, a wide stereo effect. The feedback button uh, feeds the output from the grains back to the input. Um, so you can have longer or shorter delays and go into oscillation. The kill button above reduces the feedback to zero for half a second and then clears the buffers completely. The width knob uh, goes from mono output, stereo output at halfway, and to a, a wider output, wider stereo width at maximum. The effect knob is simply a dry wet mixer, so that's fully dry, that's fully wet, and uh, that completes the rundown of the controls. So now I'll fiddle around with the knobs and controls and uh, you can hear some of the possibilities of uh, this system. The source sound I'll be using uh, for this is a, a simple mixture of a raw sort of impulse wave, so this is that without any effect.
Now there you probably noticed some uh, glitches and crackles as I was changing the uh, grain length size with audio in the buffer. Um, this is because you're shortening and lengthening the section of the buffer that's addressed uh, with audio in so you'll get discontinuities depending on where the, the end point uh, ends. I was originally going to have preset uh, times here so you never got that effect but I think the advantages you get in the uh, control you can have over some of the weird sounds by altering the grain size uh, smoothly I think uh, uh, outweigh any um, problems with uh, glitches and and so on so if you use this carefully and experiment you get to know what you can and can't do with it to get the sort of sound that interests you I, I can hear whispering So there you go. If you're looking for a nice, clean, tempo-synced echo device, this isn't it. Um, but it's a toy you might have a bit of fun with. And uh, enjoy. Bye.